big Zacian energy. And uh, yeah, we're still using the Imprisoned Jelly Set. I think it's really a really good Pokemon, especially on this team, because we have a lot of water weakness. And I really think that Berserker just brings a ton to this team. Because Berserker gets that Steely Spirit ability, which multiplies the power of its attacks, its Steel attacks, and its teammates' Steel attacks by 1.5. Right? So Zashian's Behemoth Blades, Excadrills, uh, Max Steel Spikes, and Iron Heads, they're going to be hitting like a truck. We're using a uh, Life Orb Excadrill as well. So like we actually have a lot of damage on this team. And I'm really excited to show off this Talonflame set. This was my favorite Talonflame set um, in previous formats. It's a bulky Talonflame. A lot of people are like, bulky Talonflame? You're not supposed to use bulky Talonflame, but it's super bulky. And it just really is a Pokemon that can excel at keeping that Tailwind up. Uh, you know, you got the Tailwind, you got the Roost Will-O-Wisp. It's so good in that regard. And then Dual Wing Beat over Bravery means you're not going to be breaking your Gale Wings. So it's like, I really, really like Bulky Talonflame. And I even thought about cutting, um, you know, the Gale Wings for uh, Flame Body. But I don't I don't need to because I'm already going to be burning him. If I was using something like Taunt over the Will-O-Wisp, I'd think about it. But this is super good for like Urshfus and things like that. So actually a very, very underrated Pokemon. All right, that's a cool team. I love Mindshow. Mindshow is actually a really, really cool, really cool Pokemon. And what I really, really like about this team, our, our opponent's team in general, is that uh, it's very susceptible to fake out. Darmanitan's susceptible to fake out. Urshfu susceptible to fake out. Uh, obviously, the Porygon is going to be problematic, but I think I might be able to one-shot a Porygon with a Behemoth Blade if he maxes. Um, because if I'm if I am correct in my assumption, oh shoot, I don't have Behemoth Blade. Oh, does it t that turns into Behemoth Blade? I hope. I hope that turns into Behemoth Blade. All right, we're just going to go Zashian Berserker. Um, I think we still want our Talonflame to be able to reset speed control. And like, I'm thinking about this. I don't necessarily need either of these, but I know that Tyranitar is much better versus Porygon. So that's good enough reason for me. It, IDK, if it does, we're going to find out. I fought a test game earlier and I Behemoth Bladed something. We're going to find out if it turns into Behemoth Blade. So we'll see how this works. Remember, we're using Zacian today, and we are testing for the Battle of Legends online competition. We're making our Zacian hold the Rusted Sword, which turns it into its crown form, I believe, when the battle starts. And then its uh, Intrepid Sword ability is going to give it a plus one attack boost when it hits the board, which is super nice. So not only do we get like the uh, the boost from going into the crown form mode, but we get like that even like stronger, uh, you know, a plus one attack boost on an already massive attack stat. So yeah, we are in the crown form. Intrepid Sword, there we go. The big sword energy. And remember, the whole cool combo of this team is that we have Berserker, which has the ability Steely Spirit, which powers up our Zacian's steel attacks. Yeah. All right, twice the damage at the max. That's nutty. All right, I was watching your videos today. I noticed you were live. This video video is going to be there, but I figured I'd catch it with my first stream. Love all the content. Yo, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, I actually think... It's more important to get the Darmanitan off the board, and I don't think he's maxing. So we're just going to go for a Behemoth Blade there and a Fake Out into that slot. Yeah, it's Water Urshif. Like, what's he going to do? Surging Strikes my Zashin? Go for it. Dragon Dance Life Orb Kirim. That's dope. All right, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he just close commented our Berserker, which is okay. Looks like he's not Scarf Urshifu. So we're going to be able to take out this Darmanitan, which is actually really big. Like, really big. And... If he does go for the Surging Strikes, I think we're okay. I didn't want to eat a Flare Blitz from a Darm, right? That's the reason why we actually had to go for the Fake Out play. If he would have maxed, I think we would have one-shotted him because he would have been Dynamax mode. They go for the Close Combat on the Berserker. Wise choice, but remember, it's going to drop its stats. And remember what we have in the back. Do you remember what we have in the back? You remember what we have in the back. So it's almost like I baited him into that, right? If he would have went for the Surging Strikes, he wouldn't have KO'd. It's pretty good. All right. We'll... Will that affect their viability in this tournament, do you think? Zashian Turn is the only restricted mons in the game you can't D-Max. I think they're still going to be really good because you don't need to Dynamax your restricted mons. That's the power of a restricted mon. All right, so there's their talent flame. So they can totally go for, like, a Tailwind here. Um, See, I'm looking at this. I, I really do think that I want to go for that. They're going to be going first. Now, are we going to max? We might actually just max our talent play in this game. Let me actually think about this. I'm actually going to go with a wild charge into the Urshifu, because it would get redirected. And we're actually going to be giving ourselves an airstream boost. So we're going to trade a little bit. 
I don't think he can KO if I max, because I'm actually heavy, heavy bulk on this talent plane. Magirna Giratina. Yeah, Mag Magirna's pretty cool. I looked at it a little bit. Yeah, let's see though. Um, I wasn't expecting them to go talent plane. But again, like you were just talking about like Zashian and Eternatus and Zamazenta, like they can't max, but it allows you to max your other Pokemon, right? You don't always need to be maxing your strongest Mon. Like right now I have two threats on the board. So yeah, they do get a Tailwind off, but I don't think my Talon Flame gets one shot by Surging Strikes. I'm still... Oh yeah, I'm using Pirate Moon. That's why I did it. Yeah, that's why I did it. Because remember, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm good. Yeah, remember, I still have, a t I still have the... Um, what is it? Priority, right? He totally Tailwinded, but like I'm the one that still has priority because I'm using Gale Wings. So I'm able to give my Zashin a plus one boost, and it redirects my Wild Charge that was originally targeting the Urshifu in case the Urshifu maxed or was sashed into the Town Flame. Oh man, doesn't that just look good? And then they haven't maxed yet. They do have a Tailwind up, but I legit have like a Zashian and my own Town Flame, which is going to be able to fire off a second priority boosted move, which is going to give my Zashian a plus two, which will tie whatever they send out, and it's going to make me outspeed. Do you, un do you understand, like, how, like, exactly like someone's talking about, like, Zashian can't max, it's not good, but, like, you don't, you don't need to max. This is gonna, like, one-shot this Porygon, isn't it? Oh, man, it's so good. Maxing that bulk town flame. It, I think I'm gonna one-shot this thing. I think we're gonna do probably about 20 plus percent, because we're using a town flame that has zero attack investment. Zero attack investment. But then it's all on Zashian. Zashian with its Intrepid Sword and a plus one, using a Behemoth Blade that's doing double damage to a Dynamax Mon. Let's see it. Let's go. Remember, uh, he has a Tailwind up, but my Zashian's gonna be set at plus two right now. This is like a super cool setup. We'd be taking these. Come on, Zashian. Show him what you're working with, my guy. Oh. Oh my goodness. The biggest Behemoth Blade you've ever seen in your life. One shot it, bro. Oh man, that's so good. Zashium busted. It's the Dynamax support talent flame. <laughs> You're not wrong. It is. It's the Dynamax support talent flame. This guy didn't even see it coming. He should have maxed his talent flame. Yeah. Again, that's still. Even though they have only five mons, that's still a competitive squad. I would say. Uh, there's potential for redirection. I think I do try. I want to try the Berserker play. But like I'm also looking at Titar. I think I think any time that you have a, a situation where they have like Grimstone, you should be always trying to potentially get a fake out to stop it. Same thing with Amoongus. You want to be able to stop the Amoongus before it can actually become a problem. And uh, I think this is just a decent enough lead to be able to get what I want done. Like we can fake out the Grim and go for a Behemoth Blade into a Lapras slot. Uh, I also think that like against this lead in particular, uh, Jelly Scent could definitely be usable. But I don't think I need it. Need it. I think we're probably just gonna go Titar extra on the back. And I don't need Talon Flame for speed control in this game. But similar to what I was talking about, um, you know, like right now we're testing on the casual ladder because we're testing for the Battle of Legends online competition. I know they have released the season seven rules and the season seven rules pretty much say they're gonna be starting November 1st. They pretty much say fair game. You can use everything that was illegal in series five in addition to the new Pokemon coming in the Crown Tundra, barring some legendaries and mythicals that have not been announced yet, right? So it says no mythicals, so, you know, things like Jirachis and Mews won't be legal. And I'm, ass it's, I'm assuming the legendaries that they say won't be legal are cover legendaries, similar to Mewtwo and Zacian. But that means you're going to be able to test with all of the, you know, other, you know, legendaries. And so I feel that, like, this format where we're actually testing with... You know, a few legendary Pokemon, but more importantly, we're testing with the Series 5 Pokemon. If I was just a sweaty casually, or if I was the sweaty grind on Ranked right now, which I'm already a Master Ball, for a format that isn't going to be the same, um, I feel I'd be selling myself short. Like, I should get back into practicing with T-Tars and Extra Drills, because they're still going to be really big once the format comes out. Alright, let's see. This is the exact lead that I said they were going to leave with, and I really just want to see. I'm pretty sure I could double into the Lapras slot um, and get the KO if I went Iron Head and Behemoth Blade, even if they set a Reflect, but I don't want him to set a Reflect. So I'm going to go for this. I want to see how much damage it does. It's neutral. But I feel that, like, re-familiarizing myself slowly with these Series 5 mods, you know, we were using NDD the other day. Um, we're using Titar Excadrill today. 
what did we use? I think we used like Pult in, in yesterday's video or something like that. We used a bunch of the good Pokemon. So they read our fake out. Switching in the Amoongus, I actually think that's totally fine because next turn we'll probably just hit that thing. And Lapras is going to protect. No max. Yeah, that works. Um, so the way this is actually going to go down is he's going to be able to Rage Powder away my Zacian, which is actually really nice. Good for him. But another thing is though, like, Lapras doesn't do anything to Zacian. Black Sludge. All right, all right. It's fine. For I'll force your Rage Powder. How many Legends would be printed on each team for Series 7? It doesn't... So, like, Legendaries and, like, Ubers and Restricted Monster. Legendaries and Restricted Monster are different. Reshiram is technically a Legendary Pokemon, but it's also a Restricted Mon. And you're not going to be able to use Reshiram or Zekrom. But Terrakion is a Legendary that does not count as a Restricted. You can use Terrakion, Verizion. You'll probably be able to use Landorus, uh, the Regis, the Legendary Birds. Yeah, you can use six. Behemoth Blade. No max! Watch Choice, actually, I think. I think it's actually really smart. And I'm going for a U-turn here. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a lot of damage. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh man, the Steely Spirit strikes again. <laughs> what is that damage? He's probably sporting me. That's fine. That's the reason we could bring a T-Tar. That would evoke G-Max Lapras, yeah? Because of the Steely Spirit boost, guys. Spore smart. Uh, I don't think I can actually deal with this Amoongus this second. And, like, Max T-Tar doesn't really do it. But, like, what is their board left? They have, like, Amoongus, um, Grim, and then the other two mons they have were potentially Melodic and Slowbro. His Ashi was pretty busted. I bet he thought it was going to be fine. He's like, I'm not going to max. I'll take, I'll take double damage. And it's like, okay. <laughs> Candy Source gifting a sub. Yo, I take that sub gift, my guy. That's That was a one shot, yo. There's the Grim. All right. Let's actually think about what I do want to do. I think it might be a fine idea to protect this turn. But I am going to just go for a D-Dance this turn. And if they eventually want to try and get my Zashin off the board, it's fine. Yeah, I'll D-Dance once. I mean, what are you going to do? Set up a screen? You're not, you're not going to max. I mean, I think that I respect other people maxing with Grim. I respect it. But let's see what they actually go for. Just the spore my T-Tar is completely fine, because eventually I'll, I'll wake up. Spirit Break. Oh, dude, you know it's a policy, right? Look at this. No damage, because we got that bulk. Oh. OMG. This is going to be a big spore turn. A massive spore. That's a good job. Eventually, I will wake up. Uh, that board cannot break a Zacian, like, at all. Take that Sandstorm damage, bro. This is, like, the first time you're actually going to see me use Weakness Policy T-Tar. I'm not, like, a big fan of Weakness Policy T-Tar, but, like, this is actually a really unique EV spread that uses heavy HP defense uh, and relies on T-Tar's Sandstream ability to boost its special defense from its rock typing. So I like, I like this set a lot. Right now, I'm at plus three. I can't wake up this turn. But uh, don't want to use Protect to show. Yeah, let's see if Zashin can wake up. Bulky Policy. Yeah, I like it. It's a Bulky Policy spread with uh, Dragon Dance. Which is actually really nice. I run 20 attack. I think there might be four on here because they were left over. So Zashin getting two turns sleep. A little bit never lucky right now. But what's Amoongus going to do? What's Amoongus going to do? You Spirit Break my T-Tar again? You do know that like the second you KO something. Oh, is that a crit? No, that's just actually really, really high roll. Because we had like 55%. I'm surprised that actually was able to KO. Deoxys is a mythical. Uh, I would say that it is. It's not like a mythical, but it's not legal. It's ne well, Deoxys has never been legal in VGC. Oh, we're not using superpower. Yeah, we don't really care about other T-Tars. I will Behemoth Blade them into the ground. All right, so Zacian should be waking up this turn. But even if it doesn't, uh, we have both of these. I think I'm just going to send in the Berserker. And I think it's probably a better idea just to fake out the Amoongus for one turn. And go for the uh, big fake out there. Try and get my wake up on. I don't see it. Berserker, man. Such a cool Pokemon. Don't want to show my Exeter yet. Don't really have to. 
they don't they don't lose mythical status by being catchable. You can catch a Victini in Gen 5. Doesn't mean it's not a mythical. Alright, cool. Zacian, can you not be a three turn slipped? Bulk up. Yo, I'm about to one shot you anyways. Yo, let's go. I can respect the bulk up Grim. I can actually just respect it. Waking it up. Behemoth Blade. The big damage. The big damage. You're dead. Sashin's gonna one shot all of this guy's Pokemon. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it was just a post game thing. Marshadow Grimmsnarl? Yeah, I, th I thought about doing that. I think that, like, I feel that's really cool, but it's, like, a little bit too combo-based, right? Just just a little bit. Like, it loses to Redirection, for example. Like, if you do it to their Amoongus, it's, like, not necessarily good. Okay. I'm gonna do it. There's, you're probably thinking, that's a why are you using Dig? It's for max scenarios. Actually, I haven't maxed it, right? Yeah, just fucking max. But it gives you a protect. I really like the addition of Dig and Fly on vested sets. It's something I'm actually a really big fan of. Because it lets you potentially still avoid damage. Yeah, you target the opponent and steal the boost. No, I, I get that. But like, what if they use the follow me move? You ever heard of it? What if they use follow me? I don't want to deal with that. Like, I don't want to hit your Amoongus. Like, that's not... Like, if, if you lead Amoongus and Trick Room, that means you still get Trick Room up. And so, like, I feel like that's really, really one-dimensional. And I'm not, I'm not as sold in that scenario. There's the Rage Powder. Yeah, so it's like, I feel like as a, I feel like having that as a, in a team, you can be fine if we're gonna play Devil's Advocate, but like, I wouldn't necessarily say that it's like game breaking, right? Cause it's still a little bit one dimensional. Zacian is just busted. And uh, Berserker Zacian is not much better, right? I mean, you could, you'd have to be running Fake Out on that Grim to make me like, have a reason. Like, if, if that Grim had fake out, it would still be nice. Wow, well, it actually lived. When I pulled those with the new additions, shout out to Dragonite. Dragonite's gonna be a lot of fun. That starts streaming, work immediately gets busy. Yo, talk about never lucky. Same. Flamethrower? Yo, I should just run Weakness Polish Sleep regular Zacian. I like the wings on Zacian. Pokemon looks so sick. That was Orb? Holy moly. You ready for him to get that quick draw? You ready for him to get the quick draw and for me to deny him? Who's ready? I'm ready. I'm ready to deny him. I want to use Max Strike. I want to see the animation from Berserker. He's going to get the Quick Drop, and I'm going to block it. Nah! <laughs> oh, it's okay. That's still, we maxed a Berserker. I think Berserker's still really nice. Who checks really Zacian? Uh, I think Incinero does a pretty good job. Uh, they have to run close combat, and if you can get the Zacian to lower its stats once, um, you're fine. Uh, Charizard's also a pretty decent check to Zacian. Uh, Darmanitan is a good check to Zacian. Like, Scarf Darmanitan. That's a Celebi. Yeah, this guy actually has a team that's made for this format. And I can definitely respect it. Uh, potential for... Not Perish, per se. Yeah, there is potential for Perish, because there's the Cursula. Okay. So against this lead, what do we think the right lead is here? Fake outs are going to be hard to come by. You can go into the Halucha. You can go into the Goth. I think I'm going to go Jelly Scent as a lead. I think I'm actually just going to go Jelly Scent and Zacian. I think it's actually just a really good lead. Um, I do think that Berserker is usable here. I think Talonflame is also quite good in case they want to use Celebi. Uh, Berserker is just going to be coming in case I need to use U-Turn. I can also self-policy proc my U-Turn with my T-Tar. I think the T-Tar is still really good here, even though there is a Halucha. We're, we're going to bring the T-Tar, but I don't know if it's going to be the Souse. I don't think Scarf Garchomp is going to be good. I already have a couple Garchomp set ideas. I don't think Scarf Garchomp is going to be good at all. What do you think Selby's job leaving that team? Um, probably just an expanding force mon that's grass type, right? So it's um the things that check a lot of the expanding force mons are like big, bulky uh, water types actually, like pre marina. Cause just because you can't break them. A lucha entity. Selby gets a couple good co moves though. What's a good spread for Incineroar in this format? Don't know yet. I haven't fought one yet. Alright, so I don't have to respect the trick room. I don't really have to respect the Halucha, but he might be like popping off a Swords Dance here. 
I don't have to respect the entity, that's for sure. Size seeds, that's fine. One really good thing about leading Jelly Scent in this situation is if they wanted to try to go for a Parish Trap, uh, we can switch up our Ghost Types. So we're just going to go for the Scald here. I think just Scald Behemoth Blade is probably... Actually, I'm going to go for the Behemoth Blade because I think they're just going to follow me, and it's a stronger move overall. And it would be dealing double damage if they uh, did decide to Dynamax. I think they're Swords Dancing and following this turn, though, because they do outspeed me. Maybe I should Trick Room him. He is Dynamaxing. Uh, I expect to follow me. And if that is like a Sash Entity, we will be able to take it out this turn. But the good thing about him Dynamaxing for us is that he's not getting that many boosts this turn. He can totally go after like my uh, Jelly Scent if he wants to. I don't really care about that. Literally, like, I brought Jelly Scent just so you couldn't like Trick Room me. Follow me, there it is. So this should be able to deal with this thing. Let's see it. He is gonna be able to get that big out speed, the Nuck. That's a plus one right now. Ooh, that's, that's decent damage. Um, yeah, we'll see. I don't think he can take me out next turn, though. What's the reason for Wild Charge? It's just for Charizard. It's, it's not even checking Water Types. It's for checking Charizard. Because, like, I can hit Water Types with Play Rough. It's for, it's for Charizard. Awesome. Unless that's a Pinch Berry, uh, is that, we should be able to get the KO. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. That's awesome. I want to see if it's Goth coming in, because Goth can fake out. I'd have to protect my Zacian, and then I'd be eating a second. Uh, Goth would be hard to deal with here. Cool. That's actually really good. Okay. Do I Strength Sap this? I have a Ghost Reduce Berry, not a Dark Reduce Berry. But, like, if it does, I'll go for the Strength Sap. Which is stronger? Player up is stab 90, like 45, 135, doubled, 270. What if I play like this? Yeet! <laughs> let's go! Yo, let's go! <laughs> oh, where are you looking? Yo, what's powered up? Steely Spirit! Max Nut! You better not be hitting. I mean, yes, he's not hitting the. He shouldn't KO. Yeah, we live in. And he didn't. He could have went for a sucker punch. He could have doubled into the Zashian. He definitely could have. But you know, he wants to like hit the Jelly Sun slot with the Dark Attack. You know. And you know that he's Dunzoed, wasted. I don't think he needs Dewey Spirit. I didn't want my Jelly Sun just to die either. That's like a big part of it. That's a big part of it. No sucker punch. Oh, you're right. Look at me being a terrible player. See, that's why I talk about it. You gotta re-familiarize yourself with these mons. You gotta re-familiarize yourself with it. Yeah, we take those. I'm gonna fake. I'm not gonna fake out. <laughs> well, no. Uh, let's see what the last mon is, though. There's the Celebi. Okay. Bruh. Oh my gosh. Yeet. This is fine. So he's going to protect. That's cool. It's probably Sash on the Bisharp, but it could have been Sash on the Entity as well. It's hard to say where the Sash is. We'll see it. You got your Sash, Chief? Yep. That's Sash. Who you hitting, though? Who you hitting? Hit my Zacian? Watch choice. Let's me bring out a real Pokemon. So he's going to check to uh, Jelly Sun, though, on our team. You turn going to get blocked up. Yeah, I haven't maxed yet, but like, these are pretty bad max mons. I think I'm just gonna max my T-Tar and be fine. I think U-Turn will one-shot that Celebi. I think that it will. All right, let's go. This lowers special D. It'll KO through a Protect. Yeah, T-Tar will have a hit from Bishar for sure. That's the reason why I'm doing it. Like, we've, we've secured the uh, ability to win with our Maximon. 
I just want to see how much damage this U-turn does to Celebi. If it's like Weedon's policy to Celebi, I think there's another cool like set that Celebi could potentially pull off. The good thing is though, we are outspeeding, sorry, we're underspeeding, so it's not like we'd be procking a policy immediately. He's probably expecting us to go after the Celebi with the T-Tar, but I want to go for the U-turn. Assurance, cool. shouldn't KO, unless he gets a crit. Yo, 9 HP, baby, let's go. Pollen Puff, healing the Bisharp, oh no. Did not expect that. I legit just went for a dark attack on it. I think we're, and we're gonna lower special D. Oh man, that's so bad. That's bad. We just gave him a, a freaking defiant proc. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Paul and Puff? People ask him what Celebi brings to the table. Yo, that's the sauce right there. I get to defiant proc. That's not, that's not good for me. <laughs> that's no bueno. This will reset our fake out to be usable in a couple turns. It doesn't get the KO. Surprisingly, um, I still don't think that fish can like one shot me He has a special he does technically have the special D drop So I think we're gonna nuke the Celebi and if he wants to take out my jelly scent and palm up again uh, It resets for fake us. This is the last turn of terrain, right? Okay, that works. All of this works This should KO here if he doesn't palm puff and this should KO here even if he guards. That was sick. That was a really, really good turn. Ironhead, it shouldn't KO. Yeah, we are freaking massively thick. Like, massively thick on this T-Tar. Like, full HP defense with, uh, like, 44 in specialty. He goes for a second one. I think we can get the KO here, though. Like, I think that... At minus one special D. At the very least, we're gonna be able to bring in Berserker and have like a three mon versus him. Mass. But you need Brick Break? Brick Break might have done it if he, like, because he was a plus one, you know? But if he wasn't a plus one, I think we would have lived still. He gets plus two right here. All right, Jelly Scent. Country roads, take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia. Big Jelly Scent. Big Jelly Scent Energy. That's right. Defiance plus two. Oh, you're right. No, I'm, I'm thinking Defiant being... Um, I'm thinking of Defiant being a plus one because I'm used to proccing Defiant with com with Intimidate. <laughs> okay. Octillery. A little bit of Octillery. A lot of mons that are going to be really hard to hit with the Zacian, but I still think Zacian's a good play. One shot the Clefable. Can fake out um, Talon Flames. I'm, I'm thinking it's good. Also has Parish Song, yeah. Selby has Parish Song, you're right. Barbarian gifting a sub up. Yo, thank you. Thank you. Once again, we're gonna bring T-Tar to get rid of that rain a little bit in case we need to. And I think last but not least is just fine to bring um, Extra Door. I'm not afraid of like Trick Room Gengar. Maybe I should be. But we should be fine this one. But yeah, thank you so much. And thank you to Barbarian for gifting them a sub. Yeah, we just played against someone that used a Celebi. Selby is one of my absolute favorite Pokemon. Probably in my top 10. I'll put some subs up for that. Probably in my top 10. Um, I feel like in Gen 5, I just really, really like attached. Like, so you guys haven't really seen a lot of like my singles like tournament experience. Cause like a lot of those things, all of those tournaments were like in Gen 4 and Gen 5. And it's really hard to save the VODs from those events. You really have to be like recording and saving your battle videos. I have a lot of that stuff up on YouTube. But, like, if you ever had to be like, hey, that's a play a singles tournament or whatever, like, play play some OU standard, um, more often than not, I'm going to default into picking a Celebi because I feel Celebi just has, I feel Celebi is just the, the most standard wall. And it, it, it really just sets a barrier saying, like, you have to, you have to be this much better than me to deal with me playing Celebi. Like, because Blissey Celebi is just perfect coverage, in my opinion. All right, uh, Gengar Talonflame. Uh, I'm just definitely going to fake out the Talonflame. And I think I'm actually going to Behemoth Blade the Gengar, because I think he's going to max. And I think because we have the Steely Spirit, we're going to be able to one-shot it. So we're going to be able to deny the Tailwind, and then get away with this. He maxes a Talonflame, he's a legend. He won't, though. Yep. But yeah, I like picking uh, Celebi a lot. Celebi has a lot of weaknesses, too. But like all of those weaknesses can be mitigated by Blissey. And Blissey has one weakness, which is fighting, which is blocked by the Celebi. Celebi was also one of the few grass types in like previous formats that could check Heatran because it got Earth Power. So fake out on that, stop the tailwind, 
You guys ready to one-shot a Max Gengar? Steely Spirit, Behemoth Blade, double damage stab. You better be Sash, bro. I'm... He, curse body, no! I'm really actually starting to feel that like Zashian is just straight nutty. Oh my gosh, the Pokemon's so good. Yeah, he can get a... Um, sorry, he can totally get a Tailwind off now, but like, what does it get him? Actually, he can't. I outspeed him with my Zashian. Yeah, that's dope. Uh, we're just going to switch in Titar, I think, and go for a Wild Charge. Yeah, that's, that's good. Uh, we could probably even get away with like hard switching, but... Not hard switching U-turning, but I think it's hard switching in the Titar. Even potentially getting a uh, Weakness Policy proc this turn. Just Wild Charge should be able to take out the Talon Flame. And even if he maxes it, you should still be going down. And we do outspeed him because he lost his... Uh, he lost his priority. Berserker brings a uh, Steely Spirit, which double, which gives you a 1.5 boost to all Steel attacks. Yeah, Zashin invalidates maxing. It's pretty good. Dunzo. Make me take a little bit of recoil, but like Zashin doesn't really have a way to hit fire flying types. I could crunch it, you know. I could uh, psychic bangs it, but man, what if he used it on the Berserker? Yo, we thick. We thick. We're freaking super. That's an Orb Politoed. I was like, that did way too much. Orbed Politoed, though. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, I'm not even mad. That guy that guy knows what's up. Cafable? Cool. Yeah, we'll just come in. Come in for a visit. That big D-dance. And Behemoth Blade is locked. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna actually just protect. How many turns am I still... Save for two more turns. It's fine. I'm fine just throwing away a player for that slot. Next to Mark Saddle KO. It's the spread on Zashian. It's 252 attack, 212 with uh, nature, so 212 jolly, and then 44 in HP. Because you only need to outspeed base 130s. This Pokemon's nutty. 1 HP. Rocky Helmet. Hydro, you hit my T Tar? Bro, you are in for a mistake. I'm a freaking Tyranitar chief. You don't need 252 speed. I'm telling, I'm like, I'm gonna ask you, like, what are you trying to outspeed with a 138 base speed? Why do you need 138 base speed as opposed to 131? I'm at plus three right now. Zashian, hanging on, being the hero that we deserve. Zashian mirror. So like, that's where building a good team comes in, right? Because if you look at our team, I can use my Berserker against their Zashian. I can use my Excadrill. Excadrill's super good against Zashian, by the way. Um, and I can use my Talonflame against their Zashian. Like, I don't need to rely on that if I can just go for, like, a Will with my Talonflame into their Zashian. I haven't even maxed yet. I don't even need to max. I, I hope I don't miss this player up. Mewtwo and Eternatus? You already outspeed Mewtwo and Eternatus. They're 130. Uh, Mewtwo's 130. And so Zacian, if you're just jolly with 212 speed, you still outspeed Mewtwo. Alakazam Blissey. I like it. Alright. Um, I don't see a way. I mean, he could go for the Barrascuta. I can't really deal with uh, Colossal that well with Berserker. Maybe don't go Berserker this game. I actually don't have a problem leading like Titar Exadrill. Like I don't really see an issue with it. I could also talk about leading Berserker Exadrill. Yeah, let's go Berserker Exadrill with the ability to switch in Titar if we need it. I like that. And then we just probably should bring Zashin. He doesn't have a ton of speed control. Might be Scarf Zam, but I think we'll be okay. What do you guys think this is gonna go? How do you guys think it's gonna go? Do you guys think it's gonna be like? What do you guys think? You guys think it's gonna be Barrascuta flip turn in a colossal? Kyogre team. Kyogre's not out yet. We'll see. We'll see what happens with Kyogre. Machamps.com. Yo, <laughs> he's ready. All right, is he gonna surf? I mean, I can literally just fake out it. That's the plan. Also, my Exodus is powered up by my Steely Spirit too. If I wanted to, oh, I'm just gonna one shot this guy. Yeet! I'm just gonna fake out. I could. I should probably just go after the Barracuda. 
if I'm being realistic, I should probably just, like, nuke the Barrascuta. But uh, I think I can get away with this. If he wants to protect this Colossal, I think it's problematic. But, like, the setup that I have here is... I'm going to go fake out Barrascuta. If he goes protect, double protect this turn and gets a weakness policy prop. Next turn, I'll switch out my Bar my Berserker for Kitar to give me the speed boost to make it so I should be still faster than his Barrascuta unless he's running a Scarf set. If he's running a Scarf set, he's not protecting with the Barrascuta, which means the mission accomplished. Berserker gets taunt. I believe it. It's from the Meowth line. Uh, we just don't want, we don't want taunt on an assault that set. What would happen if Symbiosis gave Zashin a rusted sword? Uh, I don't know. I do not know. We're also life warped here, so this should this should be enough to KO. Is he gonna max it? All right, something's happening this turn. Is he gonna max and guard? I think Pi's Tornadus Thunderous will be viable. I've actually used um, Defiant Thunderous before. It's not good. I've used it before. It's not good. Every single time you use it, you're like, fuck, I just wish I could have control. Alright, fake out. Prankster's already good, but Defiant's not. Alright, this should one-shot, right? Unless he's like full HP defense. Machamps.com? Not today. Not today, Machamps.com. Sorry, buddy. He's like, what? <laughs> this guy's like, you're cheating. You're using extra drill. I know, right? Fake out's pretty good. I think it's funny. We we spent a whole the whole year of 2020, right? We spent the whole format 2020 going to like regionals, going through quarantine. Everyone was like, Dynamax is so good. Fake out sucks. And now we're finally like coming full circle with the you know Talonflame coming back on top. Grimstone starting to see more play. Fake out is so good. You literally just fake out the things and you win. You just fake out the things. And then you win. That was can and then you win. You fake out and then you win. It's so good. Kang Talonflame. What year is it? 2014? I'm going to say that joke every time. Kang Talonflame. Alright, so Talonflame is problematic. And you kind of need to respect Talonflame. But again, the fake out makes it so we just outspeed it next turn. So like, I still think Berserker is really good. I think Berserker Zashin's actually really good because if they leave the Dracovish, we just go like Lamau, play rough it. And if they want to go for like, if they want to go for a Ficious Rend into my Zashian, uh, I can hard touch into my Jelly Scent if I think that's problematic. I can also think about leading like Talonflame Berserker. No, I think just bringing the Jelly Scent, switching it in uh, to mitigate that guy is going to be okay. And then next turn, I can just go for like Scalds and things like that. And then you just need one more Mon in the back. I don't mind the Dracovish. Sorry, I don't mind the Titar. Um, I think it'd be really hard to eventually outspeed that thing. And I think that like Talonflame... No, I think you have to bring Titar. Unfort. We'll see though. Dracovish is a Pokemon that could definitely be a problem for this team. So let's see if we can deal with it. Let's see if he just lets himself like die. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Actually, if he leads Dracovish Talonflame, I might just nuke the Dracovish, let him set Tailwind. I should have brought the I should have brought Talonflame and let that happen, and then set like a later ta Tailwind myself. Go Fairy Talonflame. Yeah, this is totally fine. Sheer Force Landers is gonna be fun when it comes out. You guys ready to one shot Go Fairy? Intrepid Sword popping off right now. What I really like about like Fake Out leads like this. If you lead with a teammate that's faster than Talonflame's 126 base speed, you for the fake out, it breaks their Gale Wing, so the next turn you just one-shot it. So like right now, we're golden. Big Berserker Zashin energy! I remember the good old days when the games came out doing raids with friends where three of us would bring Steely Spirit Berserker and the last person brings uh, one as well or Zashin. Yeah, it stacks. It's super nice. Super nice. He's maxing it! That's the right play! That is 100% the right play. He's gonna max Flare. He's probably going to be max flooring my Zashian. Helping hand. This guy's on top of it right now. Bro, what if I just fake out a Dracoferi and went for like a wild charge though? You will just lost the game. It's fine. You're going to lose Clefairy. If he sends out, if he sends out uh, Dracovish here, we'll lose probably. Because we're going to have to go T-Tar. Actually, I might just go Excadrill. 
Because, like, I could hard switch out Berserker for T-Tar to get the boost. And then, yeah, I think that's a little bit better. Yeah, it's a little bit better to go like that. If this even KOs. Of course it does. I want to see if he takes orb damage. Because it would tell me a lot more about his set. It would tell me if he has protect on it or not. Orb? No. Okay. Oh, shit. I didn't bring extra drill. Fuck. All right. Yeah, we're on, we're on casual right now. Oh, we're probably going to lose. It's going to be Dracovish right here. We'll see. I should probably have just set Trick Room. Sterile Wudong. Okay. I got shots. I got shots for Sterile Wudong. We are going to have to max our T-Tar. The question is, like, which one of these is more of a problem, though? I actually think, like, I'm not afraid of Talon Flame in the slightest. I actually think I want to reset my Fake Outs. And I actually think you want to just go for a Max Darkness after a Weakness Policy proc into the Dura Wudong. This is for the Battle of Legends tournament. Yeah, we'll see. I'm going to get a Weakness Policy proc. It shouldn't be able to kill the Dura Wudong, though. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to get a Policy proc. I'm assuming... I might, but we'll see. I mean, he might not proc me. And then the best I'll get is like a special D-drop, which isn't that great. I really wish I brought Exedro out here. Oh, well. Yeah, this guy had a really... That's the play. That's the way to beat the Zashi and just max the damn talent flame. I should probably start respecting him a little bit more. I thought he was going to go follow me for but it's like not even... Like, he just had a really, really good... Like... Intuition, I guess. Flutter by... He is, so he's procking our policy. Okay, cool. Boost up U turn. Might be a bandit set then. Yeah, I'll take a free weakness policy boost, my guy. What do you think of Choice Man, Dual Wing Beat, Archeops? I mean, it's gonna be cool. Archeops is a cool Pokemon. Bandit set is my favorite. Even when you go under half with the Fetus, you still, like, you're still busted. Archeops is another really good example of Pokemon that, like, do really well. And, um, how do I explain this? Archeops is really good because, like, with Weezing. Because, like, it's not one of those Pokemon like Regigigas, which is useless. You can still totally use Archeops. All right, so I actually really don't mind this situation as much as you might think. But we'll see how this is going to go. I want to see if the last month's Dracovish. If the last month is Dracovish, there are things that we can do, but it's going to be hard. I think we might actually have to just TR him. Kangaskhan. All right. So he's Scrappy on that thing, I'm sure. So, like, Jelly Sense not free yet. But, like, we have Berserker in the back. We have our own potential for fake outs. I don't see a scenario in which we don't. He literally just can't count flames me. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the trick room. If he has it, he has it, you know? Yeah, I like Archie Ops. Definitely one of my favorites. I used it in 2019 as well. Yeah, let's see. If that's the standard, like, Kang Talon Flame with, like, Fake Out and stuff, Protect Kang. Bro, I'm gonna get a Trick Room up! Sorry, it's not the standard set with Kang. Unless it's, like, Protect instead of Fake Out. Flutter, he wants those special D drops for days. Bro, you just lost. How's it feel? How's it feel? He made all the right plays, too, I feel. Um, he made the really good, like, turn one plays. He should have just brought Dracovish. I guess he was just literally scared by the Jelly Scent. But I did bring the Jelly Sand to check the Dracovish, so it's all spare. Now we take it. Talon Flame down. And then, right now, right here, wait, let's look at this. Oh, that's so good. Oh, don't you just love it when that happens? Oh, don't you just love it when you're in prison, Mon, that you literally have to stop other people's setting up Trick Room? Just like, I guess I'll Trick Room. I got nothing else going on today. This guy's like, not like this. The interaction between using uh, Weezing and Regigigas is once Weezing switches out, the slow start reactivates. Yeah, I think it's not that great. Yo, thank you for the follow. Not going to be doing that much, but we do get the burn. I'll take that big burn. And then the big, that's a plus two stabbed max darkness just enough. This is actually a really bulky T-Tar, so that's just enough damage. And we'll take the wins. All the way to the bank.
That's actually, I got a really good team. 